So welcome back. Um, today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what uh, has happened in the past couple of weeks. So I have uh, done my film, I've done my filming, uh, all the footage has been done, it's been logged, uh, it's been shot I should say, and uh, it didn't go quite smoothly. On the first day of shooting in the studio, I forgot the batteries. I got everything else sorted, but apart from the batteries. Uh, on top of that, uh, the sound equipment wasn't working properly, but that's my mistake because I so uh, forgot to set it to phantom, which means the mic won't pick up what people are saying. And two, uh, on day two, I should say, um, it went all right, uh, as expected, and um, got all the shots really. We got all the shots that, we, that I, I thought we needed. Um, I was a bit unsure about the middle part, so when Anna and Noah do their piece for YouTube, uh, I wasn't quite sure how to frame that. So I didn't uh, shoot it because I thought you wouldn't need footage over visual effects. But apparently you do, so um, I have kind of scrapped that little idea and then I've worked it into the montage. So the montage comes first and then it goes into them saying, oh, we did a great job, you know, um, you know, I love this idea, but actually I want to listen to the band. So that's, I will compromise on that a bit, it was partly my fault because I didn't, um, I didn't film it beforehand and then go to think actually I might need it let me put that in but again that's my fault uh, so I moved on from that uh, day three we shot at my house uh, for Anna's bedroom scenes that went all right that went all right um, we uh, got a lot of shots done and we got a lot of footage that I thought we didn't need but we got it anyway because I learnt from last time from day two with the uh, the middle part of not having the footage I learnt from that I learnt from my mistakes with that and um, yeah so uh, day three got footage got most of the shots or well, all of the shots I to say and we got a few extra shots as well that I thought we needed on the on the set on the spot at that time um was really happy with the way it came out um i'm still my personal struggle still with the camera is the noise so if the if the scene looks too fuzzy or you know blurry like that i can't seem to get that quite right um so yeah the noise in that some of those shots are a bit high um, but yeah, that's something I could work on for future projects. If I get that chance uh, to, I will focus more on the noise aspect and the focus on more the camera and get that done. And I know how I'm supposed to do certain stuff before I then move on to the sound and learning sound properly. That's going to be my personal challenge to focus on the camera first and really know the camera before I focus on the sound equipment. So that's all the three days of filming. Uh, overall, I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm quite proud of the stuff that we uh, uh, got. And I'm happy with my actors, Michael, Jess, and Josh helped on sound. So thank you to them as well. That was very nice of you to help me. And yeah, so I'm just putting it in editing now. And um, yeah, editing's going all right, really. Uh, logged all my footage. I put it all into Premiere Pro. Uh, then I've gone on the timeline and made sure little bits were sorted and you know, I've edited all together, synchronized the sound on top of the video. And uh, Jennifer, my uh, producer, has said to add ambient noises or ambient sounds so like when Jess wakes up out of bed, she hears birds twer, uh, you know, 
making noises in the background or cars going past, stuff like that, just to give it the sense of that it's not just dead space, you know, not without sound, so it, it just looks flat otherwise. So uh, I've added some of those in, I've added some non-copyrighted music as well, because I thought non-copyrighted music makes sense, because logistically, from the future, if I want to post it anywhere, I can't post it because the fear of getting copyrighted claim off of the artist. So I've chosen non-copyrighted music, uh, which makes logistical sense in the future if I want to put it anywhere and post it anywhere and submit it anywhere. Um, so editing's going all right. Uh, I've got all the bits laid out. I'm just working on the music now, uh, focus on what music fits the particular part of the edit. And then I will be focusing on colour correction in the next couple of days, or quite after the next couple of days. Tomorrow I'll be focusing on colour correction, just making sure that's more fleshed out, looks more realistic, and looks more, you know, vibrant and colourful instead of blue or got an orange tinge to it. So that's what I'll be focusing on in the next couple of days. And then on the 25th, I'll be uploading it as an MP4. I'll be giving that to my producer, and then on the 27th, I'll be uploading my written work. Now, the written work I've gone through a checklist at home uh, to make sure what I need to improve on, what I need to do. I've done all those things on my checklist, and then uh, on the 26th, I'm going to focus really heavily on written work and make sure that's all sorted, ready for the 27th. So that's my plan for the next couple of days. Uh, thank you for joining me on my video diary. I don't know whether this will be the last one, maybe not, maybe it's con a conclusion to all the video diaries. But I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much.